things that compare to the deliciousness of a warm, flaky, buttery biscuit. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a sweet cream coffee butter to put on those biscuits so that you can impress your friends and family with another delicious like this coffee recipe. Okay, so as with most of the recipes that I show you, I like to keep things as simple and basic as possible. So that's what we're going to do. You're going to need one stick of unsalted butter that you're just gonna set aside. You want this to be softened up for the recipe, so make sure you set that out ahead of time. Um, you're also going to need one quarter of a cup of heavy cream. You're going to need three tablespoons of sugar. I used erythritol to keep it sugar-free and you know a little bit less calories. Whatever sweetener your choice, um, you're also gonna need two teaspoons of finely ground espresso. Um, and what we're going to do first, so the butter, you don't need to do anything with that. Oh, and a dash of salt. I did throw in a dash of salt in there. Is we're going to just simply heat up our cream, sweetener, salt, and espresso. We're gonna dump all of that right into our saucepan here. <clears throat> you want to continuously stir that so that you don't scorch the bottom creams and milks, those tend to do that quickly. So you're gonna do this on about a medium heat and it's gonna take probably about two minutes or so for everything to fully dissolve and become incorporated with one another. So it just takes a couple of minutes, let it simmer just a tad while you're um, stirring it until all of the solids that you have put in here begin to dissolve. Okay, so I think everything's nicely combined. All of my sugar has dissolved. And what you can do now is you can take this through a cheesecloth if you would like to, or just run it through a sieve here, and that's what I'm gonna do, just to make sure there's no big chunks of the espresso left. If you don't mind having a little bit more of that gritty type texture, then leave it. That's fine too, it's not gonna hurt anything. I'm just trying to make it a little more creamy. Run that through here. I'm gonna take out that extra, the extra graininess here. Again, a cheesecloth would also work, just wring it out. All right. Okay, I have my cream, espresso, sweetener, and salt um, syrup mix here that I'm gonna set aside and allow to cool. We do want to um, make sure that this is nice and chilled. So you can put it either on the countertop and let it get to room temperature or pop it into the refrigerator to speed up that process. But you want this to be nice and cold before you move on to add it to the butter. Okay, so our cream and sugar and espresso here has chilled in the refrigerator. It's nice and cold. We're gonna set this aside for just a moment. We're gonna take that softened, unsalted stick of butter and we're gonna pop that right into our food processor here and get that nice and smooth. Again, you can use this in a stand mixer if you would rather do that than a food processor. That would work as well. Okay, once you have that butter nice and smooth, you're gonna go ahead and leave the motor running. I just turned it off so you could hear me, but you're gonna drizzle in that cream mixture while it is processing all at the same time to get that nice and incorporated. So let's do that. Once you have all of that beautifully incorporated, you're just going to put this into a separate bowl Make sure that you can seal that up and you're gonna put that into the refrigerator for at least three hours. Um, before you do use it, you're gonna take it out of the refrigerator and let it sit and soften for about 15 minutes before that first use. So during those three hours while this is chilling, I would highly recommend whipping up some homemade biscuits to put on here. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna show you my finished product. Okay, so my butter is nice and chilled and it is ready for these delicious flaky biscuits. I made some just easy drop biscuits that I'm going to put some of this butter on and enjoy. As always, if you try this recipe, please let us know.